My name is Catherine Kermode and this is my wild backyard and today I'm going to introduce you to an insect that I've described as the most beautiful insect in the world and that is the cuckoo wasp. I always love what just one flowering plant can do in my garden and this gorgeous shrub is a Melaleuca fulgens and the insect life in it is just stunning but there's one jewel in the crown and that is the cuckoo wasp. And this insect could possibly be one of the most beautiful insects in the world. It's the most stunning iridescent green and blue and it's just been feasting on the flowers here for the last hour or so. And I've really thoroughly enjoyed just watching it fly from flower to flower. And it's like a little burst of color. Now this particular wasp parasitizes other wasps. So it actually lays its eggs in the nests of potter wasps. It watches while the potter wasps build its nest. And while the wasp is out collecting mud, the cuckoo wasp sneaks in and lays its eggs. And that's where it gets its name. It's named after a cuckoo bird, which of course parasitizes other birds' nests. And the cuckoo wasp does much the same. Once it's young hatch, they then feed on the larva of the wasp that it's preyed upon. Cuckoo wasps are also called jewel wasps, gold wasps, ruby wasps and emerald wasps. All of them are beautiful and some of them actually practice chemical mimicry of their host species. So not only do they sneak in and lay their eggs on that species, but they can actually mimic the odour of that species so that they can do that undetected despite their beautiful colour. I love finding them in my garden. They're always on their own, so they're a solitary species. So you do have to keep your eye out for them. But once you do see them, they're very eye-catching because of their beautiful colours. The cuckoo wasp is not the only insect that is attracted to this mass of flowers. There's a whole mass of honeybees. There's lots of different types of wasps, including potter wasps, there's beetles and butterflies and flies. There's all sorts of different insects. And that is why I just love growing native flowering shrubs. They bring all this abundance of biodiversity into my backyard and I just love it.